God is good. I say God is good. Let me put that happy to be alive today. I see new faiths. New faiths. Hallelujah. I see some people since lockdown. It's your first day to come to church. God bless you. Amen. I say God bless you. Look to your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. You are blessed. You are blessed. Look to your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. You are special. You are a child of God. Look to your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. You are a winner. A winner. Victory is yours. Victory is yours. In Jesus' name. Are right, you blessed, somebody? Hallelujah. Second Chronicle. Second Chronicle. Chapter. Praise the Lord. Second Chronicle. Praise the Lord. Chapter 20. Oh, glory. We are serving a God. Hallelujah. Of victory. Our God will never disappoint you. Our God will never allow you to go down. I can't tell you a lot of I say, Our God will never allow your enemy to win you. Second Chronicle, chapter 20, verse 15. Praise God. Hallelujah. If we can, if they can bless us in Jesus' name. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15 to 22, 17. Remember one thing, if you can't find Second Chronicles, we forgive you this Sunday, but next Sunday we won't forgive you. I can't tell you that, like amen. If you forget your Bible, praise the Lord. Make sure next Sunday you don't forget it. Amen. If you have your Bible, it's on your phone. Make sure you're going to buy paper. And he said, Hacking he, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, thou shalt, thou said the Lord unto thee, Be not afraid, nor dismayed, by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow ye shall go down against them. Behold, they shall come up by the trees of six. And ye shall find them at the end of the brook before the wither, before the wilderness of Jerus. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow you, you tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Amen. Hallelujah. For the Lord will be with you. Hallelujah, somebody. Joshua chapter 6, verse 1. Now the gate of Jericho was tied shut because the people was afraid of Israel. Amen? People, they will fear you. I can't tell you that. Amen. The reason that Jericho was surrounded and very tied because they fear Israel. Number one, if you want to win the battle, welcome to the month of, of, of praise. Number one, if you want to win the battle, you need to be a child of God. You don't win the battle because you come to church. You win the battle because you are a child of God. Amen. You need to be a child of God. You need to give your life to Jesus Christ for Jesus Christ to be your Savior and your Lord. Amen. I say this, in order for us to go to heaven is a daily work. To go to heaven is not just about I give my life to Jesus today. Since I give my life to Jesus, I can live anyhow. Like we, we follow it on social media. You can live anyhow. You are born again. You go to heaven. You'll be surprised. Jesus is saying, some day we say, I cast out demon in your name. So that means those people that have been anointed before. I cast out demon in your name. I did this in your name. But the Jesus he said, I never knew you. You need to work. Your Christian work is daily. You want to secure to make heaven? You need to make sure daily you are follow the instruction of God. Daily you are living a life that, hallelujah, that glorify God. The fear of God, you need to be the key of your life. I can tell you that, amen. amen. Your first assignment on earth is not to buy a car. It's not to buy a house. It's not to become rich. The first assignment in your life is to make sure you don't lose heaven. You don't miss heaven. That is the first assignment. That, that is the reason that you come to church every Sunday. That is the reason that you are praying. You are not praying for God to make you a millionaire. If it goes, it's good. Some God, you make them. But your first assignment is to make sure you don't miss 
to make heaven. And the poet says something, I die daily. I die daily. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I die daily. Amen. If you come to provoke me, I'm already dead. Hallelujah. I'm already dead. I die daily. And I make sure I die daily to the desire of the flesh. So that I make heaven. But I will say, what is a profit for a man to win this entire world? And the rules is so. You realize one thing, when you don't have money, you, you, you think about when the day that I will have money, oh, I'll be the happiest person in the world. Oh, the day that I will, I will drive that car, oh my God. Hallelujah. The day that I will buy that shoes, oh, I'll be the happiest person. Until you buy that shoes. Until you buy, you remember the first day that you buy your car? You want people. To check if their shoes is clean. This you, <laughs> you are making. You put them up there before you enter this place. Before you enter my car, my car is new now. But after a year, you start. The car is start to beg you. Can you go so that they can clean me? <laughs> when you don't have something, you think about if you have it, you'll be the happiest person. To have joy is to have grace. To have joy is to have Jesus inside of you. Make sure daily, this needs to be your goal daily. I want to make heaven. In order for me to make heaven, I need to make sure I'm obeying God. I need to make sure. It's, it's like the same principle. In order for you to keep your job, you don't go to work, praise the Lord, by 4 o'clock when other people are leaving work. <laughs> work is finished up at 4. It's that time that you enter water 4 o'clock. Hallelujah. You enter four, four o'clock. And uh, now, praise the Lord, 20 past four, you are leaving your house. When your boss, when they are closing the door, say that I'm coming to work. It's possible? Yeah. It's possible to keep that job? Yeah. No matter if they give you a permanent contract, you will lose it. Are you with somebody? Yeah. It's the same way also with our Christian work. It's not just about to hear a nice sermon. Oh, the preacher is preaching so well. Oh, I love that. I love that. No, it's about your relationship with God. It's about your relationship with God. When you look yourself, are you far from God or are you closer to God? When you are alone, do not deceive other people. When you look your heart, if today God allow you to stop to breathe, because it can happen at any time, it can happen at any time. We go to the gym to have energy. Is true? But if you go to the gym, after you finish gymming, you finish gymming and then you go home, you are tired. All your day, you are tired. You go to the gym again, you are tired. It's not even a meaning to go to home. Because the reason we go to the gym is to do what? To have energy. So that we can achieve more during the day. Is true? The reason you come to church is for you to make sure you don't miss that moment. That moment. God can allow me to go today. God can allow anybody to die today. God is God. But are we ready? We need to be ready every day. Every day as a children of God, we need to be ready. So you need to be a child of God, a person that fear God. You know what make hallelujah die Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in Babylon, powerful. Not because they were as praise the Lord, God wanted to make their life so special. But that praise the Lord, they provoke God by fear God. They honor God in the midst, hallelujah, of many temptations. There were so many advantages that the devil gave to them. So many advantages. So many advantages. But they didn't want to follow those advantages. It's not because the door of sin is open. That means you need to sin. You need to arrive to the level of resisting. What is praise? Because it's a matter of praise. Praise, hallelujah, is to give glory unto God. Praise is more than a song that we are singing on Sunday. Praise is more than, than jumping. Because there are, certain, there are certain people, they can make us jump. But on Saturday, they was in the club. When they are playing,
thing for us, for them, they don't see church. They don't see God. They don't see God. They don't see church. They see club. I'm in the church for many years. I grew up in church. I know the politics of church. But the reality is this. Praise is more than the song that you are singing. Praise is more than the dance. Even those is part of. It's more than that. It's to spend that time glorifying God in our life. When we are talking about praise, we are talking about you and God. Hallelujah. You are glorifying Him in everything that you are doing. I can praise God with my family. I can praise God with my money. I can, I can praise God with my time. I can praise God with my time, with praise God with my life. I can praise God with my voice. I can praise God with my body. To glorify God is what we call praise. To glorify God. Praise is not just a song. To glorify God. So we can praise God without musician. Is possible? We can praise God without a song. Because praise is not just a song. We can have a service without a song. Because praise is a lifestyle that we carry. Praise is a lifestyle that we carry. That was somebody. Praise the Lord. When we see in Second Chronicle, God is saying, Put singers. Put singers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They put singers. Because God is saying, Tomorrow, tomorrow you praise me. And if you praise me, the battle, it won't be yours. The battle will belong to God. When your life, you become a life of praise. Any battle that is coming your way, it won't be your battle. Amen. Let me say to you, you are putting masks, you are ending, you are, you are doing your end sanitizer, it's a wisdom. It's a wisdom. Amen? Amen. It's wisdom. But all of us that we are here, you don't know if you have been in contact with somebody that has COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Some, you don't even you know that like if you have it and they disappear. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you that, amen. Yeah. You don't know if you have it. You don't know if you, praise the Lord, that if COVID-19 enter you and it and left. You don't know if like maybe the person that you are in contact with, he have it. But uh, the reality is this, because you're a person of praise. What kill others, you will never kill you. I can't tell you not that amen. But because the battle is not mine. The battle is belong to God. So when we are talking about COVID-19 killing people, killing business, but as a children of God, we are coming to like brother job. Oh, people they don't have job. But papa, job. <laughs> people they don't have job. But papa, job, according to his name. If it's job, so it can be jobless. Yes. I can't tell you that. that yeah, yeah. Yes, no. Hallelujah. So in this season, Papa job is coming with a surprise. My wedding. How people they have fear. But he may enter in marriage. It's not enter in marriage because he has job, but he enter in marriage because grace is a part of his life. Yeah. I want to declare over your life today. As you make up your mind to praise God with your house. I declare no devil will put you down. Yeah. I can't tell you that they are yeah. talking about job cards, but God is making a way for us. Yeah. You make a way when there is no way. Yeah. I come to declare over everyone that hear the sound of a voice. This month of praise, God will elevate you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. God will give you victory in the name of Jesus. Yeah. God will establish you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. This month of praise will never go down. Yeah. Praise is to honor God. Yeah. Honor Him. You want your family to be a stable family. Start to praise God. Start to praise God. Joshua says something. Me and my house will we serve the Lord. Who will serve? Start to, hallelujah, to honor him. Honor God. Honor God. That is praise. Honor God. Gifts can give you advantage. 
But gift is not a guarantee for you to make heaven. I say again, gift, it can give you advantage in life. But gift is not a guarantee for you to make heaven. And there also is not a guarantee for success in life. Because you can have gifts, but are you fail in life. You can have a genuine call of God, but that you fail to arise. Make sure you glorify God. I can't tell you right now. Amen. Amen. I say, make sure you glorify God. Benefit of praising God. Benefit of praising God. I'll give you maybe one or two. Benefit of praising God. Hallelujah. Remember one thing before I give you benefits. When you praise, praise is an offering that will bring unto God. Bible says, Offer your body as a living sacrifice. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Offer your body as a living sacrifice. Praise is an offering that you bring. So you can't praise God when you are a proud person. Proud is a killer. Proud is a killer of your praise. When you are proud, you can't praise God. There are some people that are too heavy to surrender their life unto God. Hallelujah. Because they, they, they are not glorified God. They want to glorify people. They want people to say something about them. That's not, people to see me? Me? People to see me like I'm born again? Those people, praise the Lord, you don't know what is their secret. Learn to praise God. Benefit of praising God, number one. Praise, it will cause your enemy to fear you. Joshua chapter 1, Joshua chapter 6, verse 1. Praise, it will cause people and your enemy to fear you. When you are a person of praise, your enemy, they will fear you. Your enemy, they will fear you. When you are praising God, when you are a person that praise God, if in sickness will fear you, if in disease you fear you, I can't tell you that I hear you. Because number two, when you are praising God, you become God property. When you are praising God, you become God property. There is so many cars outside, but there is your car by grace. Amen. If you bring the car, if you came with my city, there is a big my city waiting for you. But if you have praise, if you have your car that is parking downstairs, amen. You know that some people, you know the alarm of your car. Is true? When you're like, you know, like that is me. Amen? Amen. You become God property. God property. When you are praising God, you become God property. You become God property. So the devil can come and take you at any time. The devil can come and destroy you at any time. If you are not belong to him, you are belong to God. So when you are praising God, you become God property. Nothing will happen to you if God is not allowed. God didn't allow Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to die in the fire. And what happened? They threw them in the fire. God said, this is my property. Fire relax. Fire went for vacation. I can't tell you that they amen. The ability to burn Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the fire lost that ability. God is able. I can't tell you that they amen. I declare the spirit of death. He will lose his power, his ability to kill you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any coffin of your size that is coming to your direction, I remove it within the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Become a person of praise. Become a person of praise. Become a person of praise. That's why it's not every praise that God hear. It's not every praise that God hear. Special like us, praise the Lord, let me make it this way, Pentecostals. Christian, praise the Lord. We abuse, we start to abuse that. You know that some people, when they're doing their own things, if in a praise the Lord on a prison, you see it, you see that this one is looking for money. Amen. It's true? Amen. It's looking for money. Praise the Lord. It's not doing for God, it's looking for money. Because when you are praising God, a person that prays God, you will see his appearance. The way that is, is presented. You know when a minister arrives, is going to a meeting, there is a way that is appear. 
I can't hear you on that name. You are a child of the most high God. God is calling you to praise him. I can't tell you that amen. He creates you to praise him. He creates you to honor him. For you to live a life that pleasing him. Move from the level of a baby gospel. Internal to the level of maturity. You need to take certain responsibility in life. I can't tell you that amen. amen. What is your responsibility? I need to keep my eternal life. I need to keep my eternal life. If I live, it's not me that I live. It's Christ that lives in me. I can't tell you a lot of amen. amen. If you see me walking, it's not me that I'm walking. It's Christ that is walking in me. If it's walking in you, if it's living in you, white killer guys will never kill you. Amen. Friend, you can walk in the midst of Ghanista, but God will protect you. Amen. I can't tell you a lot of amen. amen. You can walk in the midst of sick people, but God will protect you. Those doctors that are going, huh? hallelujah, those that are sick with COVID-19, God help them to not have COVID-19. Miracle waking God. If it's a hair born, like they say, praise the Lord, then all those doctors that they are there, they will have it. But when, hallelujah, what is not yours, is not permit to happen to you. I can't tell you another amen. amen. I can't tell you another amen. amen. Glory be to God. It's not those plastic that they put that is protect the doctor. Grace of God. Amen. I can't tell you another amen. amen. Grace of God. You are a child of the most of God. Amen. Don't fear like the people in the world. Your life is already belong to God. Amen. I'm already dead for Christ. I can't die again. I can't tell you that amen. amen. A dead body, you can't come kill it again. It's already dead. What happened in this world is not permitted to happen to me. Because I offer my life as a living sacrifice to praise God. My life is a praise. I can't tell you that amen. My life is a praise. Everything that I am doing, praise the Lord, is that to reflect what, I, what is happening inside of me. You know when you are praising God with your life, when sin is coming, you want, hallelujah, commit sin. Why? Because you know your life is belong to God. It's like when you are married, it doesn't mean that like you can't face temptation. When you are married, you see handsome men, you see beautiful women, it's true. Your amen is weak. Do you see them now? Why are you scared? Are you scared that like your wife will ask you a lot of pressure? <laughs> or your husband will ask you a lot of pressure? You see it. Because when you are born again, praise the Lord, your eyes is not born again. You need to crucify your eyes. <laughs> Me, I'm born again. My eyes also is born again. It's a lie. Your eyes is not born again. It's your spirit that is born again. Your flesh, you need to sacrifice. You need to crucify everything. That's why you come to church. You need to crucify it. Your body say, hey, go this way. You know that some people they are asking the devil, the devil, since this year, you didn't even bring one temptation to <laughs> Your body, your body is desire the things of this world. But uh, your spirit desire the things of God. That's why your body wants you to, to have all the house in this world to be yours. It's true. You want to be the richest person. And then you know what? Praise the Lord, what God already put in our mind. In our heart, that mind that will live forever in this planet is you. You have that mind like you one die, one day, no way. That mind like you live forever in this planet because you are eternal. You are eternal. But I pray for you. May you offer your life as a living sacrifice. Amen. Now, since you are born again, learn not to crucify your flesh. If your eyes is a problem, like Jesus is saying, if your, your eyes can bring you to hell, Bible say, what you need to do? I'm not saying go take a knife. I'm not talking about that. I need to explain it before you go. <laughs> but are you hear that? My eyes is a problem. Maybe do something to my eyes. <laughs> it's not that. I'm not talking about that. You need to crucify it. You need to pray for. You need to come for deliverance. Pastor, I already give my life to Jesus, but I'm not understand. My neck is like a flame. 
You know that some people, if you like in the church, no, in our church, other church, when the sister is passing, you will see the brother is not praying anymore. <laughs> brother, brother! <laughs> you forgot you are in church. <laughs> you already gone. Your eyes is a flame. That was that pastor Maneki so from January to December. Check what are you watching? That is not in our church. I say, I say it again. It was not in our church. So your eyes, you need to ask for crucify my flesh. I want to make heaven. I want to make. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.